Welcome to QLab. In today's video, we're going to be looking at pivots and levers and moments and how they're all related. This will be a short experiment to explore these things because we're only going to do the basics. If you want to follow along, all the things you require will be in the description box below. So let's get started. So for this video, I've constructed something really nice and simple. And all it is, is a thin piece of card that's actually come off the end of this piece held with a little pin which actually comes out the back a little bit onto the main piece of card and this is what we're going to use to study the next topic which is moments so let's get a little bit of vocabulary sorted first this pin here is our pivot and this will move around the pivot if we apply a force here downwards it will move clockwise but if we apply a force here downwards it will move anti-clockwise so this movement or this the, the product, I should say, of the distance from the pivot to the force, where the force is applied, is known as the moment. So we can calculate it by timesing the force we apply by the distance from the pivot. Now, I've actually measured in on this 2 centimeters, 4 centimeters, 6, 8 and 10 and on the other side because we're going to do a few little experiments now I found some bits and bobs around the house such as these lemons and garlic here and the garlic weighs about a hundred grams and the lemon about 200 grams so if I was to attach just using a simple paper clip the garlic onto this side ooh, we're using this weight again and I lifted this up I'm gonna let go this side and it's just going to drop like so but can you see it turned clockwise while it was on there now what do you think is gonna happen if I put ah, let's try and get that back on that at 8 centimeters, and we'll keep it on the ground so it's not putting any weight down on it yet and then we also attach the lemons on this side 8 centimeters away oh, it would help if I could attach it there we go and I let go Oh, 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 you can see it's good. Yeah, I'm not going to let it go because it's going to drop and make a big mess. But it's going to turn anti-clockwise because the lemons are heavier. They're 200 grams. And so if I was to take that mass of 200 grams and times it by the 8 centimetres, well, it's bigger than 100 grams times the 8 centimetres. So this side wins. We rotate this way. But if I was to times 200 by 4 centimetres, well that's the same as 100 times 8. And there, it's balanced. So something that's balanced has both moments in one direction and from the other direction equal to each other. So the total clockwise moment, as this one, is equal to the total anti-clockwise moment. And that's really interesting, because that's how we balance things. Now, if I was to put this at two centimeters, let's see what would happen. Two centimeters, there we go. And I lift this off the ground and let it go. Can you see which way it's going? Oh, they all dropped off. It went clockwise, didn't it? 
And that's because the moment from the garlic, even though this weighs less, it's only 100 grams, was enough to give the rotation in the clockwise direction. And that is how many mechanical objects work. So if I was to take the pin out of the middle here and put it in, oh, I made a little hole specially for this, put it in this side and then back in, we can see how a lever will work. So if I put this, and we'll call this our load, that's the object we have to move, and I hang that, oh, that didn't sound good. We hang that on our little object. I can move it with a lot less force the further I am along. But as I'm moving closer, it gets harder and harder to move it. Now I'm going to try and show you that using the force meter. We'll pop this in and we'll just balance it. We'll just balance it as we move along. So, if you can see on the elastic band, it's only pulling up to about three and a half, four centimeters. And then, look at that. As we've moved in further, we're now at about four and a half to five centimeters. So we've seen with the force meter that the closer we move to the pivot, the more force it takes for us to lift the load. And that's how a lever works. You have the pivot, oh, you have a pivot, you have the load that just fell off, and the effort or the force that you're applying. And interestingly, you can switch and move these things around. So if I put the load on this side, really, really close to the pivot. Well, if I push down, obviously everything's just gonna go down, isn't it? So what I'm doing is actually working against the load, pushing up. And that's how a wheelbarrow works. You have the pivot right at the end, you have your load close to the pivot, and then you have this long piece so that you can use less force to move it in a rotary motion. So, with just a bit of cart, a little bit of pen, and a pin, we've been able to explore the basics of how moments affect us in life. Because they're all over the place, and I wonder if you can think of anything that moments are used for around the house. As I'll give you a clue, I've got door handles that you have to push down like a lever. So there's a moment involved there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was useful. And that's the last video now in this small series on the basics of forces. I hope you enjoyed and the next topic we'll be looking at in the physics topic will probably be electricity, but I'm not quite sure yet. Once again, thank you for watching. Oh, if you missed the videos, I'll be putting them up here. I always forget that bit, that's why there's the space at the side. If you liked anything specifically in these videos, let me know in the comments below. And if you really like them, you can subscribe to see more of our content.